Everything you need to know about porn-induced erectile dysfunction. Can triple X movies cause erectile dysfunction? We investigate. So, the intimacy heats up in the bedroom, yet you find yourself unable to perform. You're left pondering what's causing this, you genuinely love your partner and desire a connection. She's saying and doing all the right things, but for some reason, achieving a strong erection seems elusive, leaving her unfulfilled. You're a virile young man with a highly attractive partner, so why the issue? What's particularly perplexing is that this problem only arises in real-life scenarios, not when you're engaging with adult content online, notes Robert Weiss, a digital age intimacy and relationships expert specializing in infidelity and addictions, and author of Out of the Doghouse. If this scenario resonates with you, you might be grappling with porn-induced erectile dysfunction, PIDE, a concern increasingly affecting physically healthy men. PIDE is linked to what psychologists refer to as a conditioned response. 1. Is porn-induced erectile dysfunction a myth? Essentially, spending a significant portion of your sexual life, be it 70%, 80%, or even 90%, engaged in online porn with its endless array of enticing, ever-changing partners and experiences conditions you to a heightened level of sexual intensity, according to Weiss. Consequently, when compared to real-world partners, regardless of personal affections, they may appear significantly less stimulating. It's important to note that erectile dysfunction is a complex issue with various potential causes, and attributing it solely to a porn habit may not always be accurate. As Magnus Sullivan points out, there are serious medical issues beyond our control, such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, prostate surgery, and kidney failure, that can impact one's ability to maintain an erection. On the other hand, lifestyle factors like stress, drug use, relationship problems, lack of fitness, and smoking are more modifiable causes. Sullivan emphasizes the need to understand the underlying cause of erectile dysfunction to take appropriate actions. Masturbation, if approached with creativity in a focus on sexual potential, can be a way to address and understand ED. However, he cautions against excessive porn consumption, which may lead to desensitization and the need for increasingly graphic and intense content to achieve arousal. Dr. Ralph Esposito explains that long-term porn use can desensitize individuals to real-life erotic stimuli due to the impact on dopamine receptors and the pleasure-seeking system. Research, including a study from the Journal of Sexual Medicine, suggests a link between porn consumption and erectile dysfunction, with different categories of viewers facing varying risks. While acknowledging the positive aspects of porn and masturbation, it is stressed that moderation is key. Overindulgence in porn, as evidenced by a growing trend in daily consumption, can lead to desensitization and a shift in arousal preferences. Dan Canfield, an expert on erectile dysfunction, shares his experience using porn to stimulate his mind but emphasizes the need for communication with partners to address the psychosocial aspects of ED. Ultimately, excessive porn use can overstimulate the brain's receptors, making it harder for individuals to be aroused by real-life stimuli. This can lead to challenges in relationships, as partners may feel undesired or question their own attractiveness. The cautionary tale of a Reddit user serves as an example of the potential consequences of overindulging in pornography. Recently I met this girl at work who I found extremely attractive and I decided I wanted to lose it with her, I took her to a hotel and all and we did the usual, foreplay and everything but when it came to doing the deed my friend was not up for it. It was extremely strange for me because I assumed a 25 year old virgin would have a rock solid cock ready to bang this chick's brains out. But nothing, it just got flaccid and it was extremely embarrassing for me. We have tried again on a few occasions and pretty much the same thing, and I'm pretty sure she won't bother with me again. What I found strange at first was that when I watch porn I could get it hard, extremely hard and have the most amazing orgasms. I have been watching porn since I was 16 and pretty much discovered that you could come after masturbating almost accidentally and have been regularly masturbating for almost 9 years now. The individual grappling with the weight of a hidden reality, maintaining an alternative sexual life with virtual entities like porn stars, faces a behavioral pattern that can become distractingly addictive and financially burdensome. Dr. Orlandini highlights that many of her clients experience a disruptive impact on their lives, with some neglecting work, sleep, and daily activities to carve out time for virtual relationships. As a consequence, their partners may grow increasingly distant, frustrated, and skeptical of their fidelity in sexual performance. In some cases, when the individual finally decides to seek improvement, their partner may have already distanced themselves emotionally or may be unwilling to reopen intimate aspects of their relationship. 2. What to do if you're suffering from porn-induced erectile dysfunction? The straightforward solution to this is to discontinue viewing porn. By setting aside pornographic content and engaging in real-world activities with friends and loved ones, your conditioned response to porn is likely to diminish. According to Weiss, stepping away from porn usually results in a return to normal sexual performance within a few months. 
However, for some men, it may take a year or more to fully revert to baseline. It's important to acknowledge that erectile dysfunction can stem from medical issues, even in younger individuals. In such cases, medications like Viagra might offer assistance. Additionally, early life trauma can contribute to erectile dysfunction, and therapy focused on processing this trauma may be beneficial. However, if the issue is solely linked to porn consumption, medications and counseling are unlikely to be effective, and the recommended course of action is to quit watching porn. How to talk to your partner. If the presence of porn-related erectile dysfunction is causing challenges in your relationship, it's advisable to communicate to your partner that the issue doesn't stem from a lack of attraction but rather from a conditioned response to the porn you've been consuming. According to Weiss, informing your partner about your decision to quit porn and expressing the expectation that your real-world sexual functioning will gradually return as your brain's pleasure center normalizes is crucial. Dr. Orlandini emphasizes that when working with couples dealing with erectile dysfunction, she addresses each individual's perspective to understand the impact of the dysfunction. If the issue is pornography-induced, she recommends a temporary abstinence from any form of intimacy and encourages partners to view each other solely as stimuli. This approach aims to facilitate a recalibration of the brain's perception of sex and stimuli. While acknowledging that partners may be aware of some form of masturbation involving pornography, Dr. Orlandini cautions against using pornography as part of the healing process to avoid the risk of regression into pornography addiction. Sullivan shares insights into how issues related to masturbation and pornography can strain relationships. He points out that societal attitudes toward male sexual fantasies and solo sex contribute to increased health risks, relationship stress, personal stress, and sexual performance problems. Sullivan advocates for repositioning masturbation and sexual fantasy as essential components of understanding oneself, fostering personal growth, and positively impacting relationships. He stresses the broader importance of embracing one's sexuality, citing evidence that masturbation has various health benefits, including reducing the risk of prostate cancer, preventing erectile dysfunction and incontinence, and improving overall well-being. Sullivan argues that addressing the issue is not just about physical health but is integral to understanding and accepting one's complete sexuality, forming the bedrock of confidence, clarity and empathy. 3. How long does it take to recover from porn-induced erectile dysfunction? Certainly, the experience of overcoming porn-related issues will vary among individuals, with good days and bad days being part of the process. It's common to encounter withdrawal feelings and cravings, particularly if dealing with addiction, but over time, a gradual improvement in erections, genuine sexual desire, directed towards a partner rather than porn, and a renewed enjoyment of real sex should be observed. Dr. Orlandini suggests initiating the recovery process by encouraging clients to take a one-month break from all forms of intimacy, including both masturbation and engaging with a partner. This period serves as a reset, allowing the brain to develop healthier desires and a genuine appetite for real stimuli. The duration of the healing process varies from person to person. Success in rebooting largely depends on the commitment and cooperation of both partners in prioritizing the resolution of the issue. Following the prescribed steps consistently is crucial. Questions to consider include whether one is steadfast in avoiding porn or experiencing occasional slips and whether there is an ongoing sexual relationship with a partner. Engaging in real sex can aid in rewiring one's preferences toward genuine experiences. Additionally, the nature of the porn consumed may impact the time it takes for real-life experiences to match up, especially if increasingly intense content was involved. Rebooting can yield exciting results, as shared by a Reddit user who underwent the process. I've suspected PMO to be the cause of my ED for some time now. I've only had a handful of sexual encounters within the last couple of years, because each time I tried, I was barely able to summon a semi. It was embarrassing and very frustrating. I decided to take up the challenge, hoping that perhaps it would solve my problem. I've been doing nofap for two to three months, with two to three relapses. But even though I relapsed during this time, I made sure that at least the relapses did not involve porn. So last night, I decided to try and have a sexual experience with someone I met on OkCupid. I wasn't overly interested in this person, it was essentially just a test. We met, I didn't find the person very physically attractive, and we didn't seem to have much chemistry. And taking all of that into consideration, when this person started touching me and made their way down to my junk. Bam. Almost immediately, full mast. I am so, so happy about this. I was able to summon and maintain an erection with someone I was only mildly interested in, simply from their touch. I don't want to say I'm completely cured until I try this with someone I'm very interested in. But I'm extremely encouraged. I think I'm finished with porn for good. This test proved to be a great success. If you think you may have porn-induced ED, you probably do. Give it up. It isn't real, 
and there is no comparison to true human interaction. If the rebooting process takes longer than anticipated, it's advisable to consult with your doctor to ensure that there isn't an underlying issue beyond pornography at play. 4. Can you go back to porn after erectile dysfunction? If you've overcome PIDE, or any other porn-related problems, by quitting porn and returning to normal functioning, that's a significant achievement. It's advisable to consider staying away from porn in the future, as why risk disrupting your success. According to Weiss, while there might be a possibility of using porn in moderation without consequences, there's an equal or greater chance of returning to heavy usage, potentially causing a resurgence of pied and other issues. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.